What you are looking at is an unusual phenomenon that can occur at volcanic eruptions being referred to as a lava tornado. As hot air rises from the heat of the molten rock, it begins to rotate creating a tornado-like phenomenon. This can then carry with it anything lightweight on the ground which in this example remobilized fragments of lava. The so-called lava tornado shown on screen threw fragments of molten rock up to several hundred feet away and occurred as part of the flank eruption of Kilauea on June 30th of 2018. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, this rotating vortex containing lava fragments lasted for approximately 10 minutes before it completely dissipated. Although highly unusual, this feature is not as uncommon at volcanic eruptions as one might expect. But first, a clarification. The so-called lava tornadoes are not actually true tornadoes. Instead, they fall under the designation of a whirlwind. These are far less intense than tornadoes, with wind speeds generally topping out at 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour, whereas the weakest tornadoes generally have wind speeds of around 70 miles per hour or 113 kilometers per hour. To understand why lava tornadoes form, we must first realize that they are essentially the same phenomenon as both dust devils, which are common in flat and dusty areas, and fire whirls, which form in certain wildfires, just that instead of moving dust or flaming objects, it moves around lava. All three are aided by the generation of two factors. The first factor is a low average wind speed, as strong winds will prevent most whirlwinds from forming. The second factor is colder air above ground and warmer air on the ground. This warmer air on or right above the ground might be heated by sunlight, wildfires, or a lava flow. As the warm air rises, it triggers additional air to come in and replace it, which then also begins to rise. This eventually creates a rotating motion, which on occasion becomes temporarily self-sustaining, carrying with it lightweight fragments of whatever was on the ground. The more of a difference in temperature between the ground and the air a few dozen feet above it, the more likely a whirlwind is to form. This means that certain volcanoes are far more likely to produce this phenomenon than others. The reason for this is composition. Generally speaking, the less silicon dioxide by weight a type of lava has, the hotter it will be, although there are some exceptions. While basalt lava flows often have a temperature of around 1200 degrees Celsius, high silica rhyolite lava flows might only have a temperature of 700 degrees Celsius. While both varieties of aforementioned lava could produce a fire tornado, a basaltic lava flow is far more likely to produce one than a rhyolitic lava flow. Additionally, basaltic eruptions generally involve a higher volume of lava than more silica-rich lava flows, providing a larger surface area for a whirlwind to be created. Since basaltic lava has a low viscosity, it can travel many miles away from its source vent. Thus, lava whirlwinds are most likely to be spotted at eruptions from shield volcanoes, fissure vents, and cinder cones, which produce large lava fields. In contrast, they are still possible but less likely to occur from lava dome volcanoes or stratovolcanoes. As a whole, this phenomenon is one reason why even the most peaceful volcanic eruptions are not necessarily completely safe to view up close, as ejected chunks of lava from an unexpectedly created whirlwind could be thrown several hundred feet distant. As a final note, there actually was a case where a volcanic eruption created a real tornado, not just a whirlwind. To learn more, click on the video shown on screen. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Eric Bechtus for supporting this channel.